Hi, this is tutorial 3, case problem 3, and I am going to use the payment function. First, I am going to enter the year starting at 15 in increments of 5 years and use the fill in function. So I select the first two and then I drag it across, and then I'm going to use the fill in function for the mortgage starting at 250,000 and going in increments of 10,000. same idea select the first two and drag it down now we have to use the payment function so I'm going into formulas financial and then payment and first is the rate and that is 575 but we have to divide that by 12 months and we have to make an absolute reference to to the same cell E5 and same thing for E6. Then the number of periods that's going to be the number of years, which is 15, multiplied by the number of months. And again, natural reference to cell E6, but then we have to make an absolute reference to to row 9. So oh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, so that's going to be D and the absolute reference. And then for the mortgage, it's going to be 250,000, but making an absolute reference to um, column C. So we put a dollar sign in front of C. Okay, now the problem is that the payment gives a negative value, so I'm just going to put a negative sign in front of it, and problem solved. Now I'm going to use the fill-in function and drag it across once, and then drag it across another time. Then keeping the cells all selected, I have to condition. So first we're going to condition, and if the value is greater than the maximum affordable monthly payment which is cell E3 then we, we're going to highlight it in red and if it's less than that same amount we're going to make it in green and the last step of the of the problem is to change the affordable monthly payment to 1800 and see how that changes so now we can see that for 1750 there was no payment that could have been done in 20 years but for 1800 there is one and that's the end of tutorial 3 case problem 3